Good morning. This is Julia Whitup with Talk Story TV, and I have with me this morning Tracy Repchuk, Repchuk, who is the author of a book called 31 Days to Miracle Marketing, <laughs> Millionaire Marketing Miracles. <laughs> so, T Tracy, tell us more about your book. Um, well, uh, Wiley Publishing is going to be launching it shortly. I am incredibly excited. When I got into internet marketing, um, it was like the Wild West, which meant people were saying, oh, if you just do traffic, you're going to make money. Or if you just do this, you're going to make money. Or everything's solved if you just do this. But um, as a, someone who's been an entrepreneur since 1985, I've been in the technology field since I was 19, I knew what was being said out there simply wasn't true. Um, there is a foundation. You have to follow the steps. If you miss a step, it stops working. Um, and so I really put this book together as a blueprint of each step that you do to move your company online successfully. Okay. Wow. Probably even those of us who are already online could use that because it's not working. <laughs> exactly. Like if you find yourself like your database list isn't building, well, there's steps that can be done to help that. Or, or um, you know, if your website isn't converting, you know, do, do you have the right target market? Are your colors right? Is the languaging right? Do you even know who you're marketing to? All of these things are the fundamental um, questions that need to be answered before you even move online. Okay, and, but if you've already moved online, I assume you can fix things. Totally fixable. <laughs> okay, great. So tell us just a few of the subjects that you cover. I looked through your um, table of contents, and it sounds like you cover everything. I really do. It It's like... um. It's like a step-by-step. -step. Now, now, what I don't do is go into, like, I'll say something like, okay, one of the things you should be doing if you're a professional is getting into LinkedIn, you know, as far as social media is concerned. And I will say, I will probably do a few pages on LinkedIn, but that just says that, that's a strategy you need to do. Get on there, get your account built, and then maybe you need a whole nother lesson training book just on LinkedIn if that's your primary um, traffic strategy. But what this is going to let you know is each little thing. It's like an absolute menu. It's a blueprint that you'll be able to follow. So, for example, uh, how to do your niche keyword research, right? How do you how do you make sure you're targeting the right company or the right people right at the front? You want to make sure that you know who your client is, you know what you're selling to them, and you you know kind of what their expectations are um, as a visitor to the site that you're ultimately going to build or the message that you're ultimately going to craft and so that's one of the things that it would talk about so if you have uh, say you have a new client you do consulting too right yeah I do the full build actually that's my ultimate desire is to take technology um, off the plates of uh, most people because they find it frustrating and overwhelming um, and and do the whole thing for them I establish their brand, I research who their her target customer is, I create a landing page based on the right colors, based on the right languaging, and then I create a full website for them. And then we make sure the message goes from end to end so that when they're talking in social media or building their autoresponder emails, um, they're very clear and consistent so that uh, people understand exactly what they do. Okay. <laughs> And so for those of us who have been flailing around for a bit, yes. what do you do there? You step in and look at what they have? I do. Um, I have a. Um, I have one of my services. It's called the Online Clarity Call. And really, I... Um, you submit a, a questionnaire to me, I evaluate all of your online materials, and then I help you, and then we get on a call, and I help you establish your brand, establish your colors, tell you what your unique selling proposition is, which is huge and key. If you don't know why someone should pick you or what's unique about you, neither will they. Um, and you, that's your piece that will help you pop into the marketplace. Um, and then I help you select, um, you know, what should you be giving away as a landing page freebie? 
be? What should your landing page domain name be to kind of attract the customers that you're looking for? Um, and then I help carry that brand. Um, you know, how do I tell you how to carry that brand out into the internet? So you get that all with kind of my, my introductory service of the, of the online clarity cleanse call. Okay. <laughs> so can people, um, use your services a little chunk at a time? Uh, yeah, that's kind of the, I mean, obviously, you know, you can start with the book, get familiar with who I am if you want. Then if you know if something isn't working, get the online clarity call. That That's kind of the introductory access to me. I have lots of stuff before that, but you don't get me. And, and, and on that one, you get me as a one-on-one -on -one call. Um, and then you can take that. I record it and you can take that and give it to somebody else or do it yourself or even better, you know, let me tell you what it would cost for me to do the whole system for you and, and again I I've been developing websites since 1994 when the internet was born I was on it what does it cost for an online clarity call it's um it's nine hundred and ninety seven dollars so almost a thousand dollars but I'll tell you right now it's worth every penny because for one lost client for one um, week, one month, one year that you're flailing and not converting properly, you're losing big opportunities to attract speaking engagements, such, you know, attract all of the things that the clients that you want to attract. And it also includes my entire um, foundation for internet marketing training, which means um, I have built over the last seven years, this beautiful modular based training system. And it includes reviews and everything, which is how to do blogging, how to do landing pages, how to do niche research, um, social media, traffic, how to build a membership site, how to build a sales page, how to do copyright. Writing. It's this beautiful, huge online system, and I actually sell that for $3,500 by itself, but I include it in the Clarity Call simply because I want to give you what you need and then give you the training resources so you can do it yourself if, if that's the only way you can go. Okay. Okay, because if the, yeah, I can see where that would be a problem <laughs> if you couldn't yes, do I, Exactly. I make sure you're not left hanging if you simply don't have the budget to have somebody do it all for you. Right. Okay. Yeah. And tell us a little bit about your speaking uh, career, your speaking well, I'll, uh, this is the cute thing about the book, really. When in 2007, I wrote this book, uh, 31 Days to Millionaire Marketing Miracles, and I launched it, and it went straight to number one on Amazon. People started flooding me with phone calls saying, can you take me, can you coach me through the book? And um, I said, yes, I can coach you through the book. And I actually made six figures in five months just from coaching people through the book. Um, and from that, uh, from having a number one bestseller and becoming this like six figure earnings so quick in the internet marketing arena, I had one new internet marketing success of the year. So um, the World Internet Summit, which was the largest speaking organization um, in the world at that time, um, they contacted me to tell me I'd won this award. And they flew me all expenses paid from California to uh, Singapore to appear on my very first stage in front of 3,400 people. Wow. So that launched my speaking career instantly. I, I honestly, I became like a rock star after that. Um, and I got booked on every stage you can imagine, 35 countries. I was going around the world over and over and over and over and over talking about the technology um, that's in this book. And, and this is a book that launched it all. And then last year, um, uh, actually January of 2013, so kind of just this year, uh, Wiley Publishing approached me and offered me a two-book deal. Um, and I was really excited because there was this um, – top New York literary agent that I had my eyes set on had no idea how I'd ever get this guy because he is off the market you know what I mean he's he's got his New York Times bestseller clientele and he doesn't need to do anymore anyway I I contacted him and I said I got a two book deal already signed I want you to be my agent and walk it in there because I want him for my future books um, and he took it 
and so then I got my top New York literary agent. Um, and so that really just took me up that next level, which I've been doing. So the book was completely rewritten for Wiley and it is about to launch and I'm super stoked. It, it has actually been one of my dreams to be with Wiley Publishing. When I first self-published the book, I was like, okay, I want Wiley, but you can't just walk in there. You really, you need an agent, you need miracles. They need to really know that you can promote your book. You know, <laughs> this is the last thing they want to do is have to sell your book because they won't. <laughs> Um, and so uh, they saw the success of the first edition and they said, that's it, We're, we'll, we'll represent you. And so it was a dream come true the moment they approached me. And I'm sure they were looking at your speaking uh, engagements. Yeah, they were looking and that's that goes to the importance back to your website and your platform, right? So um, my landing page looked good. My website looked good. I had, of course, a massive amounts of accolades in the speaking arena. And then to top it all off, um, I just finished a 10-city uh, a TV media tour where I was on 10 major networks and national TV shows. Um, just talking about, I was talking about technology in general, which is, is what they've been pulling me on for, but that takes it another level as well. And so this is really, um, when your websites are in place and structured and you've got all these pieces that you're building, um, opportunities will come to you that uh, you can massively take advantage of from that. Right. Okay. This is exciting. Mm -hmm. And... What, you say you have you graduated from IT. That's a technical. School. That's right. Yeah, but no, it's actually it's a degree. It's a information technology. Um, and so again, when I graduated, I graduated as a computer programmer. So I was a techie geek, right? Um, and uh, <laughs> and so I I started a software company, and I was developing software. And then um, of course, I, and I hired a bunch of programmers. And this is back in the day where they weren't virtual. This was a staffed situation. So at one point, I had 15 programmers uh, developing um, software, and I was distributing my stuff all around the world. And then in 19 1994, when the internet came, I started to develop software for the internet. We were doing what was called electronic data interchange and transferring between Walmart and JCPenney and, and all the big stores. Um, and we were doing some major development uh, for governments and banks and all sorts of things. Then fast forward to uh, about 2006, where I realized the internet wasn't just this mechanism for data transfer. You could sell, you could market, you could really do some incredible things on here. So I switched my, um, my field completely over to the marketing end. And, and again, within five months, I was, I was uh, you know, a, an award-winning internet marketer on the major stages. Wow. <laughs> Within five months. Well, was a lot of that because of your technical and understanding? Totally. I mean, I already had a fundamental understanding of search engine optimization. I had been developing websites since 1994. I'd done hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands that was there plus my marketing I had been marketing by that point for almost 20 something years um, because I had to market our own company uh, in order to succeed so I took all of that and my copywriting skills and moved it online and then once I got online I realized there were some incredible uh, nuances to uh, marketing to website development to structuring a sales page and I got mentors like crazy I think the first year I went online I spent over a hundred thousand dollars on mentors for everything I spent mentors I spent probably 35,000 for copywriting I spent um, and to do the copywriting in the sales page and then I turned around and learned you know six grand just to learn how to do a, a landing page properly uh, Google AdWords Every single element, niche and keyword research that there was online and that I talk about in my book, I would have invested in a mentor to properly learn that to make sure that the formula and the blueprint that I was putting together in the book was going to work. Wow, that's a lot of money. <laughs> but, but again, I was making it faster than that. 
Um, and so that kind of, you know, I, I, you don't make a lot kind of when you're running at the beginning of the line, you're not making that much because you should be investing in yourself and investing in marketing, investing in getting those websites that you need, investing in getting the look and the brand and the target market development, all of those elements. And when you do, I mean, I, I, I was calling it a quantum leap way back then. I was, you know, I was called the, like, you know, a quantum leap uh, queen type of thing, uh, simply because I went from boom to hear like n absolute non-existence to all of a sudden I'm on this major stage and people are like who is she well what happened here and then boom to the next level and then boom to the next level and it's I think it's definitely because I understand the um, importance of investing in yourself and man if it just starts with a with a 25 buck book you, you're, you're in bonus land there <laughs> because I started with a, a $10,000 mentor program and I still even though I've been in the industry now this long I still kick it at least, I definitely uh, five figures out every single year minimum on my own training still. Wow, that's a that's amazing. Okay, so I'm sure a lot of us never thought of that. <laughs> Well, it's interesting. Um, I think what happens in the beginning with like, especially people that are looking at at, a, at internet as a business opportunity, like a biz off, like, hey, I want to make money online type of thing. Mm -hmm. uh, they forget it's a business. You honestly, and no one talks about this. This is that fuzzy thing that no one speaks of. The bottom line is it's a business and you have to fundamentally build it. You have to fundamentally market it and you have to fundamentally grow it. Um, regardless of the fact that it's now online. The beauty of being online is it's the cheapest medium in the world. I mean, when I started my company, I was paying out like 6,000 bucks for rent for the office, you know, because back then there, there, we weren't working from the home. The infrastructure wasn't there. Um, and then, uh, you know, computers were costing me 20 grand um, a, a piece. And um, there wasn't the internet. And so you're using yellow pages at $3,000 a month for marketing. I mean, people forget that, um, you know, if you were to kick out three grand a month for marketing or 10 grand for your website development, these are fundamental marketing pieces and it's good investment. You will get that back as the momentum goes, just like, you know, just like any kind of marketing effort. Right. So that's okay. Yeah, you make a good point about the yellow pages and all those things. Yeah, we used to have, there was really only one um, <laughs> medium practically. You either did a yellow page, you had to be in the yellow pages actually, or you didn't exist. Kind of like being online right now. If your website is not online and people can't come and check you out, you don't exist. Just like the yellow page history. Um, and so we would have this ad just to exist. Uh, I don't even know if it got us uh, that much business. It, the fundamental piece, though, was was important to be there. Um, and then you had trade shows. Those were how and, – and trade shows. I mean, for me to go on a trade show back then, it was 15 grand. Um, so nowadays – people um, forget all of these pieces to market because they're all dependent on online traffic, which is brilliant. Online traffic is beautiful. That's how I build my lists. That's how, you know, I, those, that's how I do my bulk marketing is all the elements that I've uh, uh, created from the online world, but it can't be your only thing um, in many cases, especially if you're a coach and a service provider um, or, or a speaker, you need to be seen. And how did you get to be into being a speaker? Did you have to take classes on speaking or? Well, remember I lucked into that first magical day. Yeah. Um, but after that, when I saw, because I was on the stage with like Armin Morin, Mike Phil Same, um, Mark Joyner, Jay Abraham, I was I was the only woman for years on this Top Gun stage. Um, and so I uh, definitely invested immediately. Once I saw um, that, hey, these are the guys I'm now going to be going against um, because it's platform sales, right? Um, you don't sell, you don't get paid. Um, and, and you also don't get invited back if you don't sell. The bottom line is the, the uh, host needs to be making money. So uh, from that moment, I uh, got training heavily. I spent at least 50 grand on my speaking career alone for um, how to put together that pre the presentation 
you know, that little 90 minute presentation, it's a pure art form. And then how to craft the story that goes in that presentation, how to craft the clothes that goes in that presentation, how to, you know, all of those elements um, I massively trained on after. Wow. Okay. So it sounds like training is the key to a lot of this. Yeah. Training, mentoring, gets, getting somebody to, to help and, and be a partner. Again, because mo we're in these solo entrepreneur scenarios, we're at home, we're secluded. Uh, we don't have things, people to bounce ideas off of um, and, and things like that. It's important to get connected to somebody who's ahead of you and can help you pull you, pull you up to that next rung of the ladder. Um, it's worth paying because right now in this industry, if there's something you don't have, it's time. Because the second you take too much time to do something, the next thing's out the next version's out you're already behind um and so it's important to have somebody pull you up as quick as possible so that you can get all these fundamentals in place like you know you like your core website your landing page your social media that you need to be on and then uh, you can just make sure from there that your pieces are keeping up as much as you can i mean you need to be looking at your website at least every six months um i look at mine every three uh, but at least every six months, the average person that I've connected to either had no idea what they were doing when they put theirs online. They got a buddy to do it, a friend to do it. They paid some small amount. But but what happens is when you get a web developer, they're they're happy to do this really pretty thing for you that you ask for. The thing that they can't do is is make sure that everything they're putting together has something to do with marketing to your target market. That's not what they do. They don't profess to do that. Um, and so, uh, you know, you'll see stuff that is 100 completely wrong, 100% completely wrong, as soon as I look at it. Wrong colors, wrong look, wrong layout, wrong market, you know, uh, no keywords, nothing. And, and so... Um, it's very fast for me to identify it, but in most cases, people can sit for a year with a website and then at the end of it say, God, I don't know, I, this internet thing or this website or nothing's really working for me online. Well, it's because you, you're kind of your migration and your start there was never well thought out and structured to begin with and you get a little lost. Okay, so that, uh, wow. So this book talks about all of these things. It right? does. Yes, yes. I know. It, it, it's it's quite a monster, really. I mean, if you if you took a look at, you know, like you saw, right? Um, the first chapter, which is called Quantum Leap Thinking, it's kind of getting your mindset in order. It's getting you to clean house. It's getting you to take a good look at what you want to do. And I'm also I also give some fast cash strategies there. And the reason I do that is, um, and I do this with my clients too. As soon as they come on board, I say, what can we sell? Because while I'm building, I want you selling. I want you to get, you know, the money you need to pay for my services <laughs> as fast as possible. Um, and then step two, uh, sorry, chapter two, it's called preparing for power. And again, this is all about putting those fundamentals in place, your domain names, your landing page, your blog, those kind of um, uh, your autoresponder. Okay, that that's your fundamental pieces. Then chapter three, I take you how do you turn those prospects into purchasers? And I go through um, a lot of traffic strategies and how to really craft a story with your autoresponder. Then chapter four is called catapulting to product profits what i do here is teach you all the different products and services that you can do and then i want you to pick one and run with that you know put it up start to sell it um, and go from there but the beautiful part is it's got all of the things that you can do in the future because you should be you start with one you get that making money and then you move to the next for example I started with the book, right? That became kind of my lead generation tool. And then the same content from the book, I moved to a speaking engagement, right? So all of a sudden I was making money from that. Moved that same content 
to um, a webinars and seminars, started making money from that. Then I moved that, you know, that same content. I just kept moving it to coaching. And then I moved people through a coaching program that was the same content, only I was training them at the time. Then I took that same content and did a do it for you program. Then I took that same content and put it in a membership site. Then I took that same content and put it on like DVDs and CDs and audios and videos. And then last but not least, um, I took the same content to an ebook, and um, the reason I took that same con- uh, I, the ebook was last for me uh, back you know and again i 'm going back to two thousand and seven as I migrated was uh, um, I wanted my book to stay on the top of Amazon, and it stayed on the top of Amazon, um, the top three percent of Amazon for four years, and that 's what I wanted. I wanted to I didn't want it to peak up and die uh, after the launch. And so it stayed there because there was no other way to get my book. Um, and I wasn't making any money from the book and it was never intended to make it. Um, it was intended to really help educate people on what I did and what they need to be doing. And then, um, uh, so that was kind of the product. So I go through all of that, including what I did in chapter four. Chapter five is about building your team. Once you have some elements in place, you should be looking at mentors and perhaps even hiring um, freelancers, depending on on where you are and what knowledge you have. And then uh, chapter six, all about creating that traffic hurricane, just going wild and opening up all the other options that are available to you. Chapter seven is called maximizing your market funnel. And it's really about building that, you know, that progressive um, uh, kind of path from, hey, here's a $47 book to here's this to here's that. Now, one thing I always recommend is go from your whatever, your $25 book to the most expensive thing you can sell. That's what I did. And that's how I launched so quickly. That's how I made so much money in the beginning is I went straight from that to a one-on-one coaching program. Um, and, and then I went backfilled all these other migration steps. Again, you want to pay for your training and you want to pay for the things you need to get done as fast as possible. So you go straight to that. And um, and then I, I have a day summary, which is these 31 days. And so I put all of those kind of in a sequence of, you know, how do you do it? How do you put it together? And last but not least, you know, where are you taking your company? Start planning for that. Wow. Okay. So where would you like the viewers to go from here? Um, well, you can go to just, J-U-S-T, 3131days.com, just 31days.com, uh, get your copy, and um, make sure, there's two steps to that page, make sure you do step one, and then step two is come back, show me your receipt, and I got a bundle of gifts for you, just for kind of helping me to launch and, and sharing my message with me. Wonderful. What about this membership site? Is that something that... Um... They can viewers. Do. Sure, they can go to uh, internetsuccessmastery.com. Uh, there's a $7 trial offer, and you can get started on that as well. And, and what I've done there is taken the same sequence and broken it down into steps that you can do day by day. And with way more detail than I can obviously put in the book. I mean, there's an hour-long video on, like, niche research and, and how to go and, and plan for something. Uh, like, and that's, like, week one. So, uh, yeah. Okay, wonderful. Well, we're about out of time. Is there anything else you'd like to talk about before we wrap this up? Uh, no, it's just been a, a great pleasure. I'm uh, honored to be a part of uh, your community now, and I'm glad to be able to share my message with you and your uh, viewers. And again, just 31days.com. And I'm Tracy Rapchuk. If you want to just go uh, either Google my name, check me out, or uh, head over to my um, personal website and see what else I do. Thank you so much. Thank you, Julia.